Hello, welcome to the Perfecto Scriptless Mobile Introduction course. In this video, we will have a look on the key features of the Scriptless Mobile tool. Let's start with navigating to the Scriptless Mobile and choosing a device to work with. To open a device, we need to click the corresponding button, choose a device from the list and click Select button. Chosen mobile phone will open in the right pane. Once it is loaded, we get the possibility to resize the device window to our liking or reset the size settings to the default ones. Left pane contains commands and embeddable test sections. Under the Comments tab, you can see the list of possible commands that you can use to build your tests. These commands are divided into the logical sections. For example, under the section Application, you find options that allow us to work with an application, such as install or uninstall the application, run the application in the usual or a background mode. Under the section Browser, we have actions that can normally be performed with a browser. Open a browser, navigate to a page, clean cookies or add a new one. Checkpoints contain commands needed to add validations to the test. Embeddable tests are needed to be able to extract the repeated pieces of your test and reuse them in the several places. We will learn about this feature in the next videos. Middle area is where you can build your test case. You can work on several tests simultaneously by adding more test tabs. Adding comments to the test can be done by dragging and dropping the comments from the left menu to the test area or adding comments while interacting with the mobile device. We will learn about this in the next videos. After the test is finished, we can run it and see the progress of each step in this section. On the top, you can see a toolbar. First action allows you to create a new test open an existing one or save your changes. Next option allows to configure test variables. By default, you will see the device under test variable that was automatically created. This variable defines which mobile device our test will run on. You can change existing variables or add a new one by clicking Add new variable, choosing a type of the variable from the dropdown, it can be boolean, data table, device, number, media, string or a secured string. Set the name of the variable and the value. After you click Apply, a new variable will be saved. Next option allows us to create, open or upload existing data table. We will learn more about data tables in the future videos. Next button is a scheduler. With its help, we can make certain tests run regularly according to the specified schedule. We will talk more about this in the future video. Next, we see Editor actions. They allow us to cut, copy, paste, delete or edit existing steps. With the help of the Exclude option, we can temporarily disable one or several tests. This can help, for example, to debug issues in your test cases. Next button gives us the possibility to create a loop. Loop is a certain number of interactions that test steps will repeat. We decide how many times loop is executed and which test steps are included. Combine selected lines option allows us to group the test steps into the logical sections for a better readability. Add Condition option allows to set a certain condition. If the condition was met, the selected test steps will be executed. We will learn more about how to work with the conditions in the future videos. Once your test is ready, you can run it by clicking the Execute Test button. You will see the progress of the ongoing execution in the middle test area. On the right of the screen, you can see a device section where we can choose and open a device. We can resize the device widget to make it bigger or smaller, 
and reset the settings back to the default value. There is a list of manual actions that can be performed with the device. Under the device section, we can see the information about the mobile phone and device capabilities. We can see logs or restart the physical device in case it is needed. Under application section, we can install and install, start and stop the needed application. To install the application, click Install New button. You can choose the application from the repository or upload one from the computer. If you want to choose the application from the repository, it needs to be uploaded there beforehand. I will choose the application from repository and click Next. Now you can choose whether the application needs to be installed with sensor or web view instrumentation enabled or we need to resign the application with developer certificate. Reset up that option allows to reinstall existing application and clear the data. Next, we choose either to launch the application after installing or not and click install. After application is installed, it is launched automatically and now we can work with this application. Next section is automation. It allows us to utilize text and image analysis possibilities and also open the Object Spy. Object Spy shows us the hierarchy of all elements on the current screen of the mobile device in a text form. We use this hierarchy to find the element and perform a certain action, for example, click on the button or set a text value to the input field. If we select an element on the device screen in the Object Spy mode, we will be navigated to the element's place in the hierarchy and see additional information about the selected object, such as name, label, object type and other properties. There is also a possibility to add a comment to the test right from the Object Spy view. Clicking on a specific element will show you a list of commands you can choose from and add it to the test. Additionally, you can choose whether you want the chosen command to be executed on the open device or only add a command to the test case. In order to navigate to another screen of the application or perform some manual actions, you need to toggle the Object Spy button off or close it. Then navigate to the required place and enable the Object Spy mode again. After this, we will see the updated view of all the objects on the screen. Now we will close the Object Spy and switch our focus to the Environment section. Here we can perform various manual actions with the phone, such as inject audio initiate a call to the device, work with geolocation, inject image, set device location, turn network virtualization on, inject fingerprint or send a SMS. And finally, we can release the device. To do this, you can click a close button on the device widget or click release all open devices button. After you close the device, you have a possibility to choose another device to work with by clicking Open Device button again. This was the overview of the key features and functionalities of the Perfecto Scriptless Mobile. Thank you for watching the video.